Okay, so what I have here today is a small Windows tablet. It's running uh, Windows 8.0. And what I'm trying to do with it here is I have an OTG cable. And it's hooked up to a USB hub. And I got to connect to a mouse. And two monitors using pluggable. Now these are my monitors up here. And I'm going to try to attempt to see if we can do it without anything extra. So I'm plugging it in. It just keeps switching back and forth. Let the mouse move. Oh, one monitor kicked on. The other one is not turning on. But we do have one monitor. You can see my mouse is moving in there. but there is not enough power to turn on that second screen. If you look down here, the power is not coming on. The power is on for this one. It is not on for the other one, and they are both connected to the USB hub through OTG. So what do we have to do to fix this problem? So what I just did real quick is I got a USB cable and another USB cable. I cut it, and I put together the positive and negative of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hook up one side to a USB power adapter and the other end I'm going to connect to my USB hub. Now just for this demonstration I disconnected everything as I'm just going to test to see if it even works. So I'm going to go ahead and manage to try to see if I can plug it in. And then I'm going to plug in this USB fan just to see if it even has any power. Presto. We have power. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug everything back in and then add in my power tie and see if that will give me enough power to turn on my second monitor. Okay, so I have everything plugged back in. I got my power tie, which is plugged in to an external power source. And I got my main hookup right here that is going to hook up to my OTG cable, which is a USB female to micro USB adapter. I'm going to plug that into my thing. Come on. And hopefully that will give me the power boost I needed to activate all my screens. Come on, baby. I'm seeing my mouse moving in this one. There's nothing on the screens. Let me just make sure if I go to my start menu here that we have it into devices and I'm hooked up to projector and oh, oh, it's hooked up saying that I am only PC only. Okay, so let's go to extend. Let's see what's happening here. Both my devices are lighting up, but there is nothing on the screen. Let me see. It says trying to update. Go to screen resolution. Now let me try to remotely unplug these two things and plug them back in. See if we can register them.
Okay, I'm not too sure what was happening here. I think there was something wrong with my USB thing, but I switched the ports around a few until I finally got it working. So, um, it's all hooked up to the OTG, and it goes into here, and then I have my external power supply connected to that to help it, and then now they are both working, and you can see up on the screen right there, and they are all individual. I'll show you right now, see if I find my mouse right here. I'm going to start moving this. I'm going to move this this way. As I move it that way, you're going to start seeing it appear up there. And it is no longer in this screen. And I'm going to move it across the screen. Okay, let me go ahead and try to open up some apps in each of these windows now. Now I'm going to go to your Windows 7, or Windows 8 thing and pop it right up and let me go down to let's see what we're going to look at. We're going to look at the weather. So I'm going to upload the weather app in this one and let's go ahead and make us a, a storm station. So I'm going to upload man, my radar. Oh, what happened over here? Failed to load. There was a problem. Please try again. I think there's a problem with the app, maybe, because this app over here went just fine. Make sure I'm connected to the internet. I am connected to the internet. Okay, well, look at that. We got some serious weather happening around here. Let me try to see if I can close out of this one. There we go. I'm closing on that one. Let me see if I can just go to different app. Um, let's play some music. I Heart Radio. So we're doing Storm over there, and we just got the original desktop down here. I can even open up the windows over here. Open up the windows. I think I touched it too many times. Okay. There's windows down there. Showing you the windows section. And then you can still see that there is all that happening up here. So a whole bunch of different things is going on right now. Oop, I lost my mouse. Where is it? There it is. There is my mouse. So let's see. Live stations. One oh six point seven light of him. Play. I mean, it's just taking a second for it to load. There's a lot going on here. Especially from one little small tablet. It's not really ideal to be having a bunch of moving graphics and these things. As you can see, each time when a pixel moves, it's actually flashing and strobing these little dots. There's nothing really too much happening there. Mostly just this one's using up all the RAM. Where's my music at? It's possible the volume could be down. Another thing is you can just have a keyboard on this thing. I can just pop up one of these windows. My mouse gets really annoying. Where did my mouse go? Oh, it's back in the first window. Let me get it across. Here we are. Yeah, a Dell top hit. Click on that one. Yeah. Make sure to log in. Let's try different stations and hip hop. Play some hip hop. There we go. Some of them wrong that station. So playing some hip hop. Sounds coming out of here. But there you go. You can make yourself a full on weather station. All you gotta do is set this, but of course if you had a USB hub 
that had a power tie built into it, which some of the newer ones have. You can get them for about 14 bucks on eBay. But if you already have a USB hub and you just, you know, it's not getting out enough power, you can just, you know, create your own little power tie-in. Well, thanks for watching.